Hi, welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I don't know if you could tell, but this is an episode of David Rides into the Sun on a Trike. Uh, if this is your first time, welcome. I make videos. Let me give you a little introduction. If you've seen it before, you could. there's a skip link introduction down in the description below. If not, just give me a minute to explain myself. I make videos trying to motivate people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to find some fun form of exercise to get themselves outdoors because doing so is very often therapeutic and we can all use a little more fun in our lives. Just make sure if you're going to embark on uh, some sort of exercise program, you get clearance from your doctor. Personally, I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old. I've had three organ transplants, including a pancreas transplant when I was 41 that cured me of the diabetes. <clears throat> I am legally blind. I've had stage 3 cancer, which was successfully treated with surgery and chemotherapy. I've been hospitalized for more surgeries due to infections, broken organs, just the list goes on and on. Currently I am fighting stage 4 cancer, which has spread throughout a lot of my body. And uh, we're at a point really where we're just trying to make things as comfortable as can be for me, as the doctors put it. So, today, if this episode seems choppy at all, that is, going from one place to another, uh, it's because the sun is so low. It's about a little past 4.30, and... Um, when I'm riding in the shade, it's probably a little too dark to be shooting with this camera. So I'm going to film only when I'm in a uh, sunny area. Only problem with that is the sunny area means the sun shining directly in my eyes. Anyway, we'll forge ahead. It should actually look really pretty at this time of day. I don't know if you've ever been out this late with me before. Um, hmm, that sounds suspicious, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but you'll get a lot of the scenic highlights of uh, how things look around here when the sun is going down. Just a little bit of the river as we roll by it. So today I wanted to talk about, well, kind of why I'm out so late. And the reason for that is I felt like absolute hell all day, just in a tremendous amount of pain. And with the pain just comes not feeling well overall. It's kind of hard to explain and I was determined to get out today. So this morning I took my normal pills. Wow, I don't know if you could see it, but this rail fence is causing kind of a strobe effect on my eyes and it's really weird. Um, I took my pills this morning, laid down to take a nap, set my alarm for 1.30 thinking, okay, 1.30 if I get up and I'm feeling good, I could go out for a ride and I'll have plenty of time. So I woke up at 1.30, felt better and wanted to go for a ride, but because I just can't seem to get it together for a ride any faster, it took me, man, this is hard to see, until 3 o'clock to drag my ass out of the door. 
Consequently, it was a late start. Nonetheless, here I am. And once again, I've said it a thousand times, but you know, I left the house feeling lousy, better than I had, but still not great. Get outside and just start riding and I feel a hundred times better. It's like some secret drug that I'm taking. And <clears throat> this was kind of reinforced yesterday. Yesterday my wife was off of work and she was going to go to the grocery store and to the butcher. Normally I don't go with because for some reason she thinks that I'm going to say, come on, we just take this one and we go. What do you have to look at this one and that one and that one? You know what we get. And she claims that I do that, although I'm sure I don't. And um, there have been times where I've said to her, you know, let me just go with for the ride. I'll just sit in the car. I won't bother you. She'll have none of it. She says, no, you're going to call me, ask me what's taking so long and where she gets these crazy ideas. I have no idea. But yesterday, I, again, I was feeling really bad. I said, let me go with you. I'll just sit in the car. I promise I won't call you or hassle you. And she said, okay. And I got out and I kept thinking I was like a dog going out for a ride in the car, hanging my head out the window with my tongue hanging out. I just felt so much better. Um, getting that fresh air, getting outside, and I was moving. It wasn't movement under my own power, but even that helped. Didn't help as much as a bike ride or a walk or, you know, doing something outside that you enjoy. Uh, we're in that dark area. I hope you can see me okay. Um, but it, it just reinforced this idea that <clears throat> when you feel lousy and if you're able to get outside and ride in our situation or walk or run or whatever it is you like to do, it really does help. And that's why I was bound and determined today to get out for a ride. And I've got to admit, you know, it, it, it was not easy. Uh, taking my pills and a nap helped. But when you're feeling lousy, I'm not quite sure where that threshold is for me yet how far I can push, but I'm finding out. Um, earlier today, if I hadn't gotten any better, I couldn't have gone out, but I did get a little bit better and I'm now so happy I went out. You know, and the crazy thing is, the cancer gives me pain in my legs and normally, it. it if you were to see me walking now, just in my normal course of day, I look like I'm 20 years older than I am. I can't stand up straight. My legs are bent and I just kind of shuffle along and that's the best I can do. Yet, here I am now out here on the trike and my legs barely have any pain in them. I mean, they, they feel like I could ride forever, seriously. I feel like I could just go on and on. And honestly, this is such a nice time of day to ride. 
quite a few people out. Um, and as you can see, our weather is really nice. Oh, and one thing I want to mention, keep forgetting to mention, <coughs> both the opening and closing sequences with the music where it's just scenery and me riding along, I am using a new camera for that, the Insta360 X3. Um, I love the camera and it was gifted to me by longtime viewer and supporter of the channel, Susan. So thank you, Susan. And by the way, if anybody ever wants to, you know, I have to pay for all this camera gear and bike gear myself normally. But if you'd like to help, just below the video, there's a uh, little icon that I think says thanks. It allows you to make a small donation or a gigantically huge donation if that's what you'd like to do. Or don't do anything and just watch the videos, which is absolutely fine. Um, but thank you for the new camera. And uh, I love the camera. Um, dealing with uh, Insta360 and a little bit of a problem that I'm hoping they make right. They don't seem like they're headed that way, but we shall see. And if they don't, they will be hearing more from me. But I digress. So yeah, gets back to the same thing I've been saying for a few years now. If you feel lousy, and if you can, get out and ride. It works wonders. It makes me, and I've heard from so many of you out there, if there's one thing I think we all can agree on, at least all of us watching these videos, it's that riding makes us feel better. And I think most of us watching this, maybe not most, but a lot, have reached a point in our lives where we are suffering from various illnesses. You know, our bodies break down with time, bad knees, hips, you name it. So if there's something you can do to make yourself feel better, by all means, do it. All right, that's it for this episode. Please, please, please like, hit that little thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it or on your social media pages. The, the way YouTube works, the more people who watch, the more people my video gets suggested to. So it kind of becomes like a snowball rolling downhill. And, uh, you know, my goal here is not to get rich off of YouTube or even make any kind of a living. I make literally next to nothing. Um, from YouTube. I was talking to Sylvia Halpern last week about it and we we're just laughing about how you know YouTube we don't know how they do it but they seem to go out of their way to make it difficult to make you know minor amounts of money um, 40 bucks over a couple of months, things like that. But that is what that is. And like I said, I'm not here for the money. I'm here to try and get people to find a way to feel better. And that means I have to treat it like I'm trying to make money and get more people to watch. Because that's just how 
the algorithms work. So that's it. Once again, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, certainly, I hope you enjoy my videos. And I will see you on the next ride. Bye-bye.